Hey, my legion, how y'all doing? I'm back with my last uh, Memorial Day food review. I did uh, the side dish, snack, uh, main dish, or small main dish, uh, Polish sausage, and then this is the dessert. And uh, so I hope you all had a nice Memorial Day. And uh, oh, what else was I going to say? Now, on with the food review. First of all, I have to say, me and my big mouth. Uh, if you remember my Easter video, in the Easter video, I reviewed the mystery flavored bunnies, which were a type of peeps, but they're just the bunnies. And I did like a whole thing. Um, I recorded this on Saturday. I didn't record on Sunday. And then I was just going to do it on Sunday because I had a lot of stuff to do on Sunday. So I was just going to upload on Sunday. And, um. Uh, I did like my history of peeps. Basically, I was saying I never barely ate peeps before, you know. And, oh, crap. And, like, over the last year and a half, when I found there was different flavors and stuff, and I see other food reviews doing it, I started reviewing them. And I've had more peeps over the last year and a half, two years I've had in my entire life because I usually don't eat peeps. People probably think I like peeps now because I did a lot of reviews of them, but. I mean, those different flavor ones, most of them were pretty damn good. And I said I probably wouldn't do any more peeps for a long, in a while at least. Unless I see like some different flavors. I don't plan on doing or having them or anything like that. And me and my big mouth, because like I said, I record that on a Saturday. Two hours later, my niece came over. She said, oh, mom got you some stuff for Easter. And like a big bag of like chocolate. I reviewed most of them. And she sent me this. A small, I mean, a small uh, Ziploc bag with two peeps in it. The classic yellow peeps. And I, I figured that, uh, you know, I said I wanted to do any more for a while. And then two hours later, you know, I got that package. And Super Lady Sheba on a comment said I was all peeped out. Now her name is Sheba Lifts. So I got to remember that now. I think it's Sheba Lifts now. I'm so used to saying Super Lady Sheba. I got to get used to saying that. Just like I know Josh Sorrell's. Josh Sorrell's uh, head, the food reviewer, changed his title to Sorrell's Soul Originals, and then uh, throughout the time he's been cha he's changed it five or six times. I remember someone says I still call you Josh Sorrell when he put LOL on there. It reminds me of uh, I'm gonna try to m make sure to remember your new name Sheba Lifts. I think is what it is, and uh, oh. Just like I remember Dennis Miller was talking about Prince. And he said that Prince, uh, you know, he had a name. They changed the name of the artist formerly known as Prince. They had the symbol and then he changed it back to Prince. And Dennis Miller said, I'm, I hate to tell you, I've been calling you Prince all along. That's what it reminded me of. Well, anyways, I'm getting off on a tangent as usual. Let's try these out. These are classic yellow peeps. Open this up. I don't really have much of a smell to it. I like how they dot the eyes on here, too. And basically, it's just a marshmallow treat. Let's just give it a shot. It's all right. All right, for what they are, I'd probably give it a nothing special. I'd probably give it maybe a six and a half out of ten. They're okay. Anyhow, for my peeps, the peeps review of classic yellow peeps. Also, I wanted to talk with shout outs to uh, my friend Peggy. And uh, I also wanted to talk, tell you about two movie reviews I saw last night. I also saw a zombie, but zombies in the category by itself. It's going to get a special video tomorrow. Um, I saw Sergeant Bilko in a documentary called Stripped. Now, Sergeant Bilko I saw a long time ago. And basically, I remember uh, seeing Cisco and Ebert review the movie this back when Gene Cisco was still around. And it came out in 96, believe it or not. And I saw it when it came on cable. And they were saying that, uh, oh, Roger Ebert said that uh, Steve Martin had the enviable task 
of filling in Phil Silver's shoes because there's only one Phil Silver's, right? And he said Steve Martin did a decent job. I'm sure that Steve Martin knows he's no Phil Silver. He's Steve Martin. And it's tough to, you know, you know if there's like a real comedic legend, it's tough to be as good as him. But you can fill it. I mean, just like when he did Pink Sam. Uh, I'm a big Steve Martin fan, don't get me wrong. Like when he did Pink Panther, I mean, it's hard for him to be Peter Sellers. Like, it's hard to be Phil, Phil Silver. It's only, they're like a one-of-a-kind type of comedian. Just like if someone did a Steve Martin movie, it's tough for someone else to try to be Steve Martin except Steve Martin. Especially like his wild and crazy guy days, you know. And, uh... The Sergeant Bilko is basically about this one sergeant and uh, who runs a motorcade, and they basically do a bunch of things that get rich, get rich quick schemes, gambling, and all this other stuff to make a lot of money. And it was like, apparently it was a hit show in the fifties. I never saw it, but I know Phil Silver. I know Phil Silver is funny, and I saw it back when it came on cable, and it's PG rated. There's a little bit of swearing, but it's okay for family entertainment for the most part. I think it's all right. Uh, I saw, like I said, I saw a long time ago. I thought I saw it. I thought I'd give it another shot. You know, I was kind of curious to see it again. And basically, I feel the same way that I did last time. It was an all right movie. It's clever. It's not, it's only had like four or five parts I really laughed at. I think like four, well, four and a half parts I really laughed at through the whole movie. Uh, it's really creative. It moves at a decent pace. It's somewhat entertaining. I, it's an it's an okay movie. I'd probably give it a six and a half out of ten for Sergeant Bilko. I know some people didn't like it. I thought it was okay. And the other movie was a movie I saw on Netflix by accident called Stripped. And Stripped sounds like a super dirty title. And basically, it's not. It's about uh, cartoonists, uh, the guys who do the comic strips in the Sunday paper, and also in a oh, well, just for the newspaper and stuff. And it's a really interesting, fascinating story you learn about these cartoonists. And it talks about the evolution of comics all the way up to, like, papers declining now. And then people going to web, on the web, to uh, do the design their comics on there. They have, they talked to a lot of famous car, car, uh, cartoonists like Jim Davis, uh, the girl behind uh, Kathy and the girl behind For Better or For Worse. They have that the guy who, the first recorded voice on camera of the guy who did Calvin and Hobbes. Calvin and Hobbes was an awesome comic. And the guy who did Beetle Bailey was on it. It's really a fascinating, interesting show. And it's, this one's pretty much for uh, family entertainment too. They even bleep out the bad, the bad words in this one. It said not rated, so I assume that they could say what they want. But I mean, it was weird. I mean, there's not a ton of swearing, but when there is, it's usually bleeped out, believe it or not. I think that was that's the way the movie was supposed to be released. So that's not really, ugh, excuse me, that's really not censorship. That's just the way it was supposed to be released. But it's a fascinating movie. And be forewarned, the ending credits are long as hell. I mean, could I remember seeing uh, Matrix in the theater? I think the credits in the Matrix are like nine minutes long. The credits in the end of this movie is just a cartoon doc documentary about cartoons are like eleven minutes. They're so long, there's like this one girl doing a whole music video in, in between them. But it's a very entertaining movie. I think you'll like it. I think it's very informative. I'd probably give that a, a 9.5 out of 10. It's really, it's, if you get a chance, look up Stripped. People probably think it's a movie about strippers, but it's about the comic uh, comic books. Well, not comic books, but uh, comic strips. You was reading the, in the papers. And like I said, I love Calvin and Hobbes. That was, I was bummed when it went out. When it, they stopped doing it, I was bummed when they stopped doing Nancy Sluggo. Nancy Sluggo was pretty funny, too. But there's some things, some of the comics I never heard of, like Rhymed with Orange, never heard of that, or Bizarro, never heard of that. I heard Mr. Boffo, but I never heard of Bizarro. And some other comics I never heard of before, but really inter interesting movie. So I hope you liked this very long-winded uh, dessert review of the classic Yellow Peeps, plus my reviews of Sergeant Bilko and Stripped. So until next time, please take care of my legion.